everyone is talking about Flux One, both for its incredible quality in producing photorealistic images, as well as the fact that it's pretty uncensored and will generally produce whatever you want. But why not take it a step further and generate video from these amazing images? So in this video, I test out 10 ways to transform your Flux One images to video, and you can see for yourself the difference in quality between the different methods. We're all about AI automations on this channel, so I'm also on the lookout for which of these methods I can integrate into my automation systems. So firstly, let's generate some Flux One images that we can test across these video generation platforms. For this, I'll be using replicate.com, which allows you to run any open source AI models in the browser or via API. I'm gonna do both in this video. Once you're logged into Replicate, you just need to search for Flux. There's a few different versions, so we're gonna be using the Flux Pro version that you can see there. As you can see here, it costs five and a half cents to generate a single image. It's as simple as dropping in your prompt here, picking an aspect ratio, and then clicking Run, and then it just generates on the fly, and it's pretty fast. So to test out the various video generation models, I've generated five images. So here's the first one of an outdoor party with a female musician playing an accordion. The second is a busy cityscape, which looks like New York City. I've gone for a different style in the third, which is more of an anime style scene with kids. The fourth is Tron inspired, rendered out in 3D, as you can see there. And for the fifth image, I've included text in the image to see how the video generators will handle that. And that is fabulous quality. As I mentioned, these models are available via API as well. So I've created a scenario on make.com which auto-generates a prompt with ChatGPT, hits the Replicate API, and then generates the image and uploads it to Google Drive. And here are some images that have already been updated. If you need to run image generation at scale using a system like make.com, then you can access this blueprint in our community, and then be, you'll be able to quickly import it. So check out the link in the description. So we now have five images to test across the video generator. So let's get started. Let's kick off with Runway ML, who have just released their Gen 3 Alpha model. So I've generated out videos for all five. I'm using the Gen 3 Alpha Turbo version, which is available for free users. And here are the five. So let's have a quick look. Here's the outdoor party. At first glance, this looks great. It looks very realistic, pretty high res. Um, once you start kind of zooming in, you kind of figure out that things are going awry. Um, this woman seems to be playing this accordion. I'm not sure what's going on with a drumstick here, but generally speaking, it, it looks quite good um, You know, from, from a, a bird's eye view. Here's the anime scene. Um, and that looks fantastic. They don't, they kind of are more running on the spot as opposed to actually running towards the camera. Ah, oh, brilliant. Here's the Tron scene, and that's uh, an amazing zoom in on the subject. <laughs> Here's the car scene, which uh, it seems to be going backwards for some reason. Maybe it's uh, stuck on rewind. I think it's worth noting when I uploaded these images, I didn't actually put in a prompt. The prompts are optional in a lot of cases when you're uploading the image. So you're, you're pretty much letting the model figure out, based off what's in the image, the type of motion that should be happening. Um, of course, this could be prompted to, to really make sure the cars go forward. And here's the Colossus scene, and that looks brilliant. Dripping goo, uh, a little bit of movement on the text as well. Let's start that again. Well, more of a camera angle, and yeah, it actually looks like blood. Wow. Um, that's intense so overall yeah pretty impressive on runway runway definitely is is one of the best out there so next up let's look at luma labs which is the dream machine so let's jump straight into the party scene on luma labs the resolution doesn't seem to be as high still at a glance looks pretty decent yeah i'd say it's possibly better than runway's version there's probably less obvious problems in terms of you know one lady playing the accordion of another person. The actual fingers on the accordion render out pretty well. Yeah, overall pretty impressed with that now. Let's jump into the next one. So the cityscape, haha, <laughs> very good. So instead they just parked the taxi in the middle of the road and everything moves around it. Um, that's a, a, a nifty solution to the problem. And I love the fact that this woman just wanders past the camera. Yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed with that. Um, clearly better than Runway's kind of uh, one shot attempt at it. Let's jump into the anime scene. And again, yeah, that's that's very good. They they are definitely moving forward compared to the uh, the runway version. And there's a little bit of an issue there on the arm of that little girl, um, which kind of disappears and reappears. But overall, not bad at all. Let's look at the Tron video. Very good, yeah. So the subject is walking this time as opposed to being static and the camera uh, heading up towards them. And that, that works pretty well. I really like that. And finally, the Colossus one. So how does it do with the text? Brilliant scary <laughs> yeah text remains consistent 
Um, you do have a kind of a zoom in, which is which works very well, and into the kind of the hero pose. So how much does all of that cost? Let's have a quick look. So with Luma, you get 70 generations, and each of those are five seconds long, and that's for $8 a month. The equivalent of that on runway is 25 videos at $12 a month, because this Gen 3 Alpha Turbo uses five credits per second of video. So that's 25 credits per video. Yeah, Luma Labs is definitely better value at the lower level price plans. So next up is Leonardo AI. These guys have a motion feature, and they also have an API that I can integrate into the automations that I use. Interestingly, they've just been bought out by Canva as well, so I'm sure we're going to see a much tighter integration between those two platforms. So once you're logged into Leonardo AI, you should be able to click motion, then upload an image and add motion to it, similar to what we did on Runway and on Luma Labs. I say should because I ran into lots of problems in doing this. So before completely abandoning it, I wanted to check out their API which you can see here. So it's worth noting that Runway and Luma Labs don't have an API. There might be unofficial APIs for them, but there is no official way to actually trigger generations on their platform. Leonardo, on the other hand, do have an API. So I set this up on make.com in a scenario where I uploaded these five files to Google Drive, where I got the scenario to fetch these files from Google Drive and then get upload URLs from Leonardo AI's API. I uploaded the images, triggered the video generation, fetched the result, downloaded the file, and then uploaded it to Google Drive. So the result of that are these five videos. So let's have a quick look. Again, let's start with the party scene. So yeah, a lot worse. <laughs> Let me just play that again. It's four seconds long. And yeah, that's glitchy as hell. I can't stop looking at her face glitching to actually see what the other problems are in this video, but that 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 isn't good. A quick look at the car scene. Mm, not amazing. Um, lots of warping and distortion on the traffic passing. The car seems to be moving. Maybe it's moving downhill. I don't know what's going on. The anime scene, play that. Yeah, probably better than the other two, but that's not saying a huge amount. Um, she's kind of wandering in and out. And it's, yeah, it's it's it seems to be ultra slow-mo as well. Better than the other two, but still not great. That's probably the best of the lot, actually. It's just a slow, yeah, a slow kind of zoom. Um, that's that's actually not half bad. That's pretty good, actually. Um, yeah, text seems to be kind of moving a little bit in midair. You got a bit of movement on the on King Kong himself. There's no dripping of goo, but uh, that wasn't the case in Luma Labs either. So I think Tron and this one were pretty good. The other three, not really amazing. Um, but anyway, yeah, if you do uh, want to integrate with Leonardo AI, be it the image to video or, or any of their API endpoints, um, there is a, a make.com blueprint that works here. Um, so yeah, check out the community below uh, where we have this template as well as lots of other automation templates. Next up, let's look at Pixverse. Uh, most of these platforms will offer free credits for you to play around with with the image generation and the video generation. So uh, um, so that's what I used here. And we'll start again with the party scene. So definitely better than Leonardo AI and probably not as good as the runway or, or Luma Labs. Um, a little bit of distortion on the face. The, the the actual, it's much more slow motion than the others as well, which is kind of worth noting. But but it's not too bad. Yeah, a little bit. I think the distortion of the face is kind of what's throwing me again. Let's look at the car scene. Um, yeah, not bad. Uh, a taxi appears out of nowhere and almost crashes into the camera. Um, but at least the taxi is moving forward and the other cars are moving against it. So that is something to consider. Um, but yeah, a little bit uh, a little bit off, I think. Um, let's look at the anime. It's pretty good, actually. Not just rainfall, but yeah, from the splashes splashing up as well, which I think is quite nice. It, yeah, still a little bit of distortion, but that's not bad. Not, not too bad. On to Tron. <laughs> There's no camera moving towards him, and he kind of is just walking on the spot. Uh, so that that one is kind of funny. <laughs> and finally, Colossus. How's he doing? Pretty well, actually. That's probably one of the best ones so far. Um, just not just not a lot of movement. Just he's he's flexing. So not bad with Pixverse. Um, yeah, party scene and cityscape didn't do well. The other three are pretty decent. I'm currently putting the finishing touches together to a video automation system on Make.com that'll automatically produce shorts and reels. I'll be publishing a video on this shortly, so hit the subscribe button if you want to get notified of that. Now, let's jump into peak art and test it out. Okay, let's start off again. Worth noting, these are only three second long clips as well. Um, she's lost her eyes, it appears. <laughs> very blurred out. It's like something from a horror movie. And there's some very strange clapping going on back here. Um, yeah, that's that's not not really that good, to be honest. Yeah, I tried out two different cityscapes here. I tried one where I didn't put in a prompt at all. Most of these um, generations, there hasn't been any prompt. Um, so it's just letting the model figure, it out, figure out the movement from the image. Um, and that's what happened here. 
uh, very li- nothing happens there actually. So that's why then I, I then try to add in a prompt to explain what the movement should be. Um, and it didn't help really. It's worse. <laughs> this this car is hovering in midair. Um, yeah, so poor, poor, and nothing happens. And uh, let's look at the anime. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. The, again, a lot of blurring of eyes. I don't know why they keep doing that. And a slight zoom in, but yeah, not great. On to Tron. Yeah, again, similar. Not not a huge amount of action going on with this. Just a slight zoom in and a slight movement of the subject, but not that impressive. And finally, to Colossus. Um, that's okay, actually. Yeah, good kind of facial movements. And the, he's rolling his hand into a fist. Um, so that's not bad. Again, all limited by three seconds. Um, so yeah, Pika, not, not amazing. Let's try out Hyper.ai, where... It, they claim vision uh, comes to reality, or at least hyper reality. Um, so let's put that one to the test with our video. Probably a bit unfair to go full screen because we didn't do full screen for the rest of them. Oh, there's no other option actually. Um, whoa, she's happy. <laughs> she starts off uh, normal looking and then uh, turns a little bit alien like. Again, I kind of feel bad because this is full screen and the rest weren't. Um, but yeah, clearly uh, a lot left to to improve upon there. Um, let's look at the video and we're moving backwards. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting how the video models struggle to have motion happening in two different directions. Um, I also think they're struggling to move this taxi into a kind of a different lane. Um, so yeah, that is uh, floating with the camera and the traffic. This one seems to be speeding up. The Let's look at the anime. That's decent. Um, yeah, not bad. Kind of strange morphing going on over here and there and there. Um, but but the main subject is is pretty pretty good. Onto Tron. That's good. Yeah. Um, subject doesn't change that much. Like there's not a huge amount to that that kind of that motion, but not that many obvious problems with it. And onto Colossus. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, again, kind of sometimes the subtle movement is the best. And that's just him, you know, taking a, a deep breath. <laughs> so next up, we're going to look at SDXL, which is a stable diffusion extra large. So the other three models that we just went through, um, Hyper, uh, Pika, Pixverse, none of them have any kind of open APIs that we can integrate with um, to bring into our systems. Um, stable diffusion, on the other hand, um, is highly integratable. So to access an API to hit stable diffusion, we'll be using FAL AI. FAL is a great platform to access open source models similar to Replicate. And you can see in the model gallery um, all of the models that they have here, including all of the Flux models as well. So you can compare prices between FAL and Replicate. And if you come down here and click image to video, you can see that they have three image to video models. These two aren't really suitable for our, our needs, but we're going to try out Stable Diffusion um, or SDXL here. So you can try it in the web. Um, but what I've done is um, similar to Leonardo AI, I've created a scenario on Make where we can pull those five images that I have up on Google Drive, hit the Stability AI API to generate the videos and then upload them again. So here is the result. Uh, <laughs> probably, probably the worst we've seen so far, where um, two people meld together. Um, so yeah, that is is not good. <laughs> wow, that is some Star Wars stuff going on there. It, uh, it warped into hyperspeed um, and then hit a traffic jam. That is fantastic. <laughs> That's a new take on it. Don't actually move the characters, but just move the scene around it. Um, it actually kind of reduced the artifacts and got a morphing by doing that. Let's look at Tron. Yeah, I, I think Tron performs well in, in most of the generators and probably because there's not a lot of obvious kind of movement to it. And then finally, Colossus. Whoa, that's insane. <laughs> um, he morphs with the text and then kind of gets kind of strange spider limbs on his on his back. Um, that is bizarre. So a couple to go. Next, we're going to look at Kling AI. So let's jump in here and... Yeah, so I have tried a number of videos here and it's taking days to actually produce videos. So this is the only video I was able to produce. Was it worth the wait? Oh, it's going to crash. <laughs> um, ah, probably not worth the wait. <laughs> it's not too bad. Like it's it's not good, but um, a lot of models have really struggled to kind of add motion to this image. Um, pretty funny that it nearly crashed into another car.
And finally, we'll look at two smaller models that are available on Replicate. The first one is uh, Luca Taco, the MS Image to Vid. I put in, again, this cityscape. And as you can see, it kind of produced a strange video where it, ha it has completely changed the nature of the image. It has moved the taxi to a different position. And then bizarrely, you have some car, car just flying past the camera here. And um, I just thought it was interesting um, that it, it really changed the nature of the image that was uploaded. And then finally, we have this one, which is the Dynamic Crafter. Again, uploading the image here. It has stuck to it, which is great. Not as good as, as Runway or, or Luma Labs, but at least the car is moving forward and other cars are moving um, against. Um, there is kind of some very strange morphing going on at the very end where cars kind of transform into people. So there's 10 different models that you can use to transform your Flux One images into videos. Definitely Runway and Luma Labs are, are head and shoulders above the rest. Um, and it's such a pity from an automation perspective that there isn't actually any APIs that we can tie into. So Leonardo AI is probably the best of the lot when it comes to automation so far. This space will absolutely change, though. Um, you know, Sora will eventually be released by OpenAI. Um, Google VO will eventually be released, I'm sure, up onto uh, Google's model garden. So it probably won't be too long before we can start integrating these image to video generators into our workflows. If you'd like access to any of these blueprints, then check out the link on our community in the description below where we have copies of those scenarios that you can quickly import into make.com, as well as lots of other templates. Um, and there's a couple of other Flux One templates as well. If you like the video, um, give it a thumbs up below and make sure to subscribe if you're interested in that video automation system that I'm working on and I'm hoping to release next week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.